Hello? Is there anybody there? That's good. That's really good. Um, so it's just gone 8 o'clock and it's uh, Wednesday night and um, I'm just going to be playing for a little while tonight. I'm testing out all my gear. Hello! There's an option to bring you on camera here. Not going to do that though. Um, yeah, I'm testing my gear. Um, I did a show last week for the online Oswald Street song songwriters last week and uh, and I almost managed to lose everything. Um, so hopefully I won't do that this week. But apologies if I trip over any uh, any wires or anything. There's lots of wires around here. That's uh, It's only a small room. And there's not much room for me to be honest. But anyway. So then. Um, let's have a look. I've got a cup of tea. I hope you've all got a cup of tea. I decided to keep it small because uh, small audiences are the best. I'm planning for about three people. Hello, Dan. Um, I'm planning for about three people, and uh, and one of those is um, downstairs. Oh, hello. Hello, Heike. Um, yeah, also, uh, I understand that um, after last week, I've actually got a few people in Canada watching this, so um, they're probably wondering what the hell's going on. Um, so uh, I've been practicing, so bonjour, Canada. That's a bit exotic, isn't it, really? Okay, so I'm um, going to do a few songs tonight. It won't be a very long set. Um, probably here to have a bit of fun. If you watched last week, um, then this is a new one. And if you didn't watch last week, then this is a new one. I suspect we might have a secret larger in the house. Why won't anyone tell me about it? I'm so worried he will want to wear my clothes Our shopping bell is worrying me Hope he doesn't think I'm gonna feed him Though nothing's missing from the fridge All the bamboo shoots I bought from Asda Seemingly on a whim Disappeared without a trace Something big has made a massive hole in the wall I'm not sure what it is But if it's a mouse, then it's a big one You know what? There's a panda living in the bedroom There's a panda How do I know? Cause the mattress on the bed's all saggy I'm always standing on the clippings from his toes There's a giant panda in my house And he's made friends with all my family Well, except for me Cause I think he might be a little scared He might be a little scared Cause I used to hunt pandas Well, that's me off the World Wildlife Fund Christmas list. Um, okay, uh, it was only a short one. Right, so last week um, I was quite chuffed with the reaction that I got. It all went okay, and I was really grateful that nobody shouted, which is uh, kind of social media all the time at the moment. Um, yeah, it was really nice that somebody said that they were actually listening to me in the afternoon while they were working, which um, it probably says a lot about working at home, really. Um, yeah. Hello, Dave. Um, yeah, so, um, yeah, working at home and all that. Um, but but what's a really weird thing is, it's really weird when somebody quotes your lyrics back at you on Twitter, and they are, it's really, really spooky, but what the really weird thing about it is they're always spelt better than when you do them in the first place. So that's a bit weird. But anyway, um, moving on. I've got a song about obsession. Yeah. 
If you loved me, you'd take the knife out of my back. Stop pointing out the things that I lack, like any motivation. Getting out is difficult, especially since you took my shoes away. If you loved me, you'd stop ruining my dreams. I don't think you know what it means. I'm all shut to bits, it's really getting it on my tits. Especially as I know you stay awake and watch me sleeping. I'm standing by the wheelie bin, wondering if you're ever gonna let me in. Your face pressed to the door, I wonder what the grin is for. Realize you've blocked me out, no matter how much I scream and shout. I'm stuck here in the garden and I've only got the shed for shelter. If you love me, you stop cutting up my clothes. And be in such a pain, nobody knows. You're so sweet in public, and yes, when we went down the pub, especially when you danced upon the table. I'm still in the potting shed Wondering if you're ever gonna go to bed Then I can use the hammer Break the lock and get inside But in the darkness I cannot find a flipping thing And I wrap myself in an old dog blanket I'm hoping I can keep my toes dry Maybe I should go and live on an island Far away from anyone that would be nice But then I realize you'd follow me And I would be on an island alone with you That would not be nice I would wake up screaming about it If you love me, you'd stop spending all my cash at carpet sales and bringing home the trash I only sold on Tuesday, I'm only making room, excuse me When you buy it back you're losing all our money All our money All our money Maybe I should go and live on an island Far away from anyone That would be nice and I realize you'd follow me And I would be on an island alone with you That would not be nice I would wake up screaming about it If you love me If you love me Um, I, that actually came out um, okay. Um, I got it swapped with another song, so apologies for that. But anyway, okay. So now I'm a little bit more um, warmed up, and I'm a little bit more big league than last week. I've got a Facebook page that I don't really know how to operate, and I've got a self-appointed merchandising manager. And all I'm saying is she's got to up the game a little bit because we got nothing from her last time. And she knows who she is. Right, uh, yeah. I also got asked last week if I do any recorded music. Um, to be honest, I haven't got round to it yet. I am struggling a little bit with the technology. Um, I did do a very small, weird little collection of songs which went out on SoundCloud last year. And apparently it got hundreds of uh, plays in um, Bournemouth, of all places. So my claim to fame is that I'm absolutely massive in Bournemouth. A bit like the pier for a week. Um, so I better not go there for fear of being mobbed, really. Um, but anyway, um, the weather's picking up, and uh, it's probably nearly time for barbecues. And if you watched last week, you know I have a song about barbecues. So here we go. And it never starts very well, so um, apologies. <laughs> It's just the kind of thing you expect to see in any small town When summertime rolls around 
for the heat gets too much to bear And the rain's not far away Then you'll find us there Get down to the co-op, it's lager time Or cheap cider too That's still fine Put on your shoes, you heard the news There's a barbie around the neighbours Put on your shoes, you heard the news There's a barbie around the neighbours It's the domain of the alpha male It's a warm time of year when it does the cooking And there's nothing wrong with a bit of blood That you can't fix with fried onions And a tin of Pringles One of you wants to be the DJ One of you said I've been fine You can go away Put on your shoes, you heard the news there's a barbie around the neighbors Put on your shoes, you heard the news There's a barbie around the neighbors Do you remember when those policemen Hammered on the door And we told them there was class A drugs And number 24 And we gathered round the window While they tasered Mrs. Moore only 94 It's time to tell your neighbour That you really love him And it's not the drink I'm talking But you're never going to agree to His dubious political views Or the fact he is stalking Mary from number 21 to be a boxer could be lots of fun. Put on your shoes, you heard the news. There's a barbie around the neighbors. Put on your shoes, you heard the news. There's a barbie around the neighbors. Wow, uh, yeah, okay. Um, I have to say that uh, I did have a few comments last week um, about Mrs. Moore from the song, and all I can say is uh, she's a busybody and she gets everything that's coming to her. Right, yeah, okay. Uh, I'm trying to do a little bit of chat, mainly because it kind of uh, the songs along and possibly because I don't want to do too many songs but hey um, so a couple of things I spotted this week as it's census week I spotted a list of interesting professions and occupations which somebody very cleverly extracted from the 1881 census which proves that the Victorians led some very exotic lives indeed or they were really just good at making stuff up so I've got a couple here so one is colorist of artificial fish or oh, grape dryer grape as in grape dryer or running about as an occupation yeah that's a good one the one that made me laugh was um, they put on the census what's your occupation professional thief that's bigging yourself up isn't it really um, but the one thing I wanted to show you was for one young 15 year old lady she put this on the census. You can't read that because that's around the other way, isn't it? But anyway, it says, does, a, does as she pleases. So um, that's kind of teenagers back in the Victorian times. Uh, so she's a bit way ahead of her time there. Anyway, next song then. Let's move on. While we're on people who like to live on the wrong side of the tracks, here's one about uh, Charlie, my mate Charlie. Who painted knock jokes on the wall? He wrote it in letters nearly five foot tall. Who said he had a story to tell? But he let himself down cause he couldn't spell. That was Charlie. 
Charlie, the world's worst graffiti artist Who started out with emotion and pain Lost his temper when it was too late Who wrote smash the government system Underneath wished his mum Merry Christmas Charlie Charlie, the world's worst graffiti artist His name on the gates of the zoo They never thought they'd trace him to his home Which is the same shade of blue It's one thing drawing three d elephants Should have gone for something easier Maybe a penguin or a fish Yes, that seems a better idea But not very subversive Gotta get the message off his chest But he gets more paint all down his vest He'd like to be a friend but he hasn't the time He's painting the bus stop one bit at a time That's Charlie Charlie, the world's worst graffiti artist In there, and really, he believes he can be like Banksy. He tried to show me his latest work, but honestly, I couldn't stop laughing. He never was the best at spelling, even though I thought it check. I'm sure you don't spell Satan that way. That's S A N T A. Oh, that's Santa. Got headhunted by the local police he Thought he was in trouble for expressing freedom Turns out the council have been in touch They want him to decorate the old folks' home That's Charlie Charlie, the master of Magnolia Charlie Charlie, he'll do a good job Charlie Charlie, hit me up in bed Charlie, Charlie, the world's worst graffiti artist. I'm just rubbish at endings, aren't I? Right, okay, uh, yeah, um, it's going well. We've done nearly 20 minutes, which is pretty brilliant, really. Um, when we used to do uh, smelly cat gigs, we had this song which we called uh, I Really Really Hate You, which was basically, um, what's that? No, I'm reading some of the comments. Some of the best gigs I have been to have been to small audiences. Well, Dave, they don't get any smaller than this. Right, yeah, I made a joke last week about going on tour to libraries and it wasn't, um, it wasn't playing in the libraries, it was just going to the libraries, but yeah, that fell on stony ground, anyway. Uh, back to the story, yeah, we used to have this song called Really Really Hate You, which is basically us saying I really really hate you many, many, many times over. So it wasn't very deep and meaningful, but um, but it was quite a lot of fun really, and I thought I'd try and develop that a little bit further. I'm doing this practice this week because I've, um, I've, I've, um, I've got a promotion really, um, I've got a promotion really, I'm playing a gig, another online gig next week on April the 2nd and um, yeah, I'm really chuffed about that, I got asked straight away really and that was um, uh, pretty good, I might, must have bribed them, I don't know, anyway, anyway back to the song, um, right, it's about a relationship, I don't know, I'm probably going to get some comments, but anyway, I don't know, even though it's quite warm in this room, so I'm slipping off my guitar strings. It was 
never gonna be the best of breakups I guess it had been coming for some time So we round and argue for two nights straight Never got to finish that glass of wine But it calmed down She moved a day so later Thought I'd try and pick it all up She left me a parting gift To remember Something to remember It shouldn't mean that much She left a fish behind the radiator Took me seven days to find it though No I got rid of her a long, long time ago. It wasn't just the fish she left behind as a leaving present. Attacked my 501s like Freddy Krueger's long lost cousin. Thought she'd also left maggots in the rice, but no, that was just old rice. Wobbled down the street in my tailored jeans Holes all over where my ass should be She also knew where to put the coffee cup Left brown rings on the pages of my favourite books She left a fish Seven days to find it though No, I can't get rid of the smell Wish I got rid of her A long, long time ago Was it a salmon? Was it a haddock? I wish she'd left it in the packet Was it a salmon? Was it a haddock? I wish she'd left it in the packet I say she was crazy Maybe it was just me Right-wing politics are not for everyone Maybe the Donald Trump mask was last straw In a very, very large haystack indeed Whoa, oh, oh, oh If I was in France, I wouldn't be singing about the fish. Il y avait un poisson, very irradiated. Though I'm not sure they even do that stuff in France. No, but they do other weird stuff. Now I'm alone in my apartment. And I watch the rain running down the window panes Even though I tried redecorating There's still a persistent stain That I can't get out with the mess does Was it a salmon? Was it a haddock? I wish she'd left it in the packet Was it a salmon? Was it a haddock? I wish she'd left it in the packet Bitch! Behind the radiator Fish behind the radiator Phew, that was hard work. Um, yeah, it's the first time I played that one, so apologies for the drop notes. Um, and the other ones where I drop notes, no apologies, really. Um, Okay, what time is it? Oh, it's getting on a bit. Right, okay, I think this will be the last one for tonight. Um, yeah, I think this will be the last one for tonight. It's 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 been good. It's always a bit stretching. I've got a few ideas now what I was going to do next time. Um, I did have a few ideas for a competition, which I might put up on the Facebook page anyway. Um, but you'll have to go to the Facebook page to see that. I uh, hope you enjoyed what I've done. 
uh, wherever you are uh, and if you're watching it on catch up uh, that's fine that's lovely I hope you've had a great time um, please get in touch with me um, on the various Facebook uh, Instagram whatever 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 and I'll try and reply to you so um, I think I should finish with a love song really so um, here's my love song love is great even if you're from outer space well I don't care if your legs are red and it must be said you have a massive head although you sticky out eyes you're still the best looking alien in the room the best looking alien in the room The sticky substance that you left on the floor Was a shock I'm sure when I opened the door When you wave at me with all your six long arms You're still the best looking alien in the room The best looking alien in the room When you look at me with your warm green eyes I get the feeling I'm not getting your full attention Cause you gotta know that right on the fly on the ceiling I know though it's endearing I think you should put that policeman down Because you've had all the brains that he had to give And I can only offer you cheese and onion crisps that's all that matters when you love somebody from outer space. That's all that matters when you love somebody from outer space. I fell in love with an alien and there must be consequences. I surrendered when you broke down my defenses We share a pizza on a Friday night She eats all the anchovies, so that's alright Even though she didn't put her hair on last night She's still the best looking alien in the room The best looking alien in the room In the park strolling I think that they're looking at me they don't see what I see they're always wondering where their dogs have gone and the noise to be honest it's a very very high pitched scream even though it doesn't bother me Cause I lost most of my hearing at a gig in 2003 And that's all that matters when you love somebody from outer space And that's all that matters when you love somebody from outer space Thank you. Bye-bye.